this is going to be a fairly large haul video. I'm going to try to haul as much stuff as I can. I've been I've been trying to clean up my makeup room and when I have stuff to haul I tend to leave it out so that I can haul it for you guys. <laughs> and so I'm trying to really uh, get a grip on this whole situation here. So I'm going to try to haul um, as much stuff as I can because I really want to put this stuff away. So let's just jump right into it. <laughs> These first three things are fairly new. They're the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Shine Lipsticks. Uh, Sculpting Shine Lipstick is what they're called. And um, they're, I feel like they're a, um, a slightly less pigmented, shinier version of their um, Pure Color Envy lipsticks, the, the newest ones that came out. They're really similar in formula to the Tom Ford lipsticks. Um, these, they have pretty good pigmentation. I have got the Mischievous Rose one on my lips right now, but they feel really, really great on the lips. So I picked up three of those. I'll start off with this one here is 130 Innocent right here. And the packaging, it is looks like so. And it has got that magnetic uh, closure as well. So this one is 130 Innocent right here. And that one looks like that. So it's got pretty good pigmentation and they are nice and shiny and they feel really good on the lips. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with these so far. Uh, this next one is 220 Suggestive. Um, and the last one, which is the one that's on my lips, is uh, Mischievous Rose. I like these better. I like the Dior Bombs as well, but I like these... These feel as nice as the Dior Bombs feel, but these have more pigmentation to them than those. This is what the packaging on those look like right there. And then Too Faced recently came out with some new blush bronzer bronzer um, compacts. And I think they came out with eight new shades of the liquefied longwear lipsticks, um, but they only released four or five. Um, like a couple weeks ago and I picked up two of those shades. This first one is Melted Frosting right here and I have worn both of these and I quite like the um, the Longwear lip Liquefied Lipsticks. I, I think that they're easier, um, more manageable versions of the OCC Lip Tars. So um, Melted Frosting is this first one right here and I really like Melted Frosting a lot. It is super, super pretty. And then this next one that I got is Melted Sugar. And I wore Melted Sugar yesterday and it is a very, um, it is a nude nude. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty nude color. Like I had to fade it into a little bit darker lip liner because otherwise it really washed out my, my lips from my face. But, um, I like the way it looked after I, I, I worked a lip liner in with it. And then the other two things that I got from the Too Faced Spring Launch was the Too Faced Soulmates um, Blushing Bronzer is what it's called. So this is the package for the Carrie and Big one. And K Carrie and Big. <laughs> they named them pretty cute. Um, there's 0.6 ounces of product in here, so a fairly nice amount of product, 18 grams. And then uh, the packaging looks like so. It's in a little heart right there. It's called Soul Mats. And then inside you've got a bronzer and a blush. Um, I did have to use a smaller brush to concentrate just on the bronzer to use the bronzer on my face and then I had to really use a small brush to get this one right here and I kind of found it uh, difficult to avoid picking up either one or the other of the product when you're trying to use one or the other. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind but this particular one pulls more on the orange side of things. Um, that is what the colors look like and the bronzer does have some gold shimmers in it and then the blush looks like a satin finish so that one is carry and big and the other shade that they came out with is ross and rachel and this is the box for that one um i like this one a little bit better than the other one because the bronzer is more cool toned and then it, it's got the the pink blush in there which is pretty again i you know you have to use a little bit smaller brush to get the um, concentration of one or the other if you were to solely want to use them as you know a bronzer and then a blush instead of mixing them but if you do mix them together you're gonna get either more a more of an oranger bronzer or a pinker bronzer so um, this one here does got some gold slightly gold shimmers in the bronzer as well and then the uh, the blush looks like it's a satin as well so this is Ross and Rachel right there you can see it a little better Let 
me get a little more of that bronzer. Then this next product I picked up, I watched um, Goss, Win Goss, uh, makeup artist. He did a video on the Ellis Foss Glow Up um, Highlighters, which is a new product by Ellis Foss. And he, he had um, really hyped these up, so I really wanted to try one. And I picked up the lightest shade in S501. And this is just the pan, because I was going to put it in my... Um, in a, in a compact or in a Z palette or whatever. Um, for now, I just put it in this uh, Jane Iredale empty compact that I have. And I picked this up. I bought it off of um, Be Glowing. That's where I bought it. And the shade looks like that. And this one does have a slightly peachy pink undertone to it. Um, the the texture is really, really beautiful. Um, but, you know, <laughs> it just looks like nothing on my skin. Like... You can kind of see it there. I'm going to really build it up so that you guys can kind of see it. But if you are into some really subtle, subtle highlighting, you'll really like this powder. Because the actual powder, the texture, and the consistency of that powder is really, really nice. But um, when I put it on my face, I just, if anything, it, it kind of deepens just slightly on me. But I really can't see it on my skin. So, um subtly like super super subtle so I'm not totally crazy about it to be honest and then too maybe you can see it is it could be a little lighter in my opinion I guess for the lightest shade but in any event we'll have to play with this a little bit more for sure but it is really really subtle <laughs> then I saw that Nordstrom got the Charlotte Tilbury film stars on the go in like um, I, I hope they're getting the matte lipsticks as well soon, but, um, these, I know these were released a little bit, um, a, a couple months ago on the Charlotte Tilbury website, but they just came to Nordstrom. It's the first place I saw them in the U.S. to be able to buy, so I bought two of them, and I kind of, I really was enjoying using the Tom Ford cream shadows that I bought, so I was kind of feeling, had a cream shadow vibe going on when I when I bought these <laughs> and the shadows oddly enough in both of them one kind of looks like Tom Ford Spice and the other one looks like Tom Ford Platinum but um, I have used both of these I'm going to show them to you up close as well but um, I want to talk about the formula a little bit first um, this one right here is all about Eve this one and then this one right here is breakfast at Tiffany's um, the eyeshadows I use both the eyeshadows on my lids by themselves with no primer first and they creased something fierce. Um, by the end of the day or probably even four or five hours in um, without a primer, I didn't have anything left on my lid. Like there was nothing like I saw my skin. <laughs> um, and then I used the um, Tarte CC primer with this one the next time that I went to use it and um, it was even shorter wear time because well the CC primer is actually more of a moisturizing primer for me so I guess that probably wasn't the best idea <laughs> um, next time I'm going to use them I'm going to use them try to use them as a shadow base but by themselves um, they creased really bad they just did not last on my lids um, maybe with uh, I, I might try them with the anti-aging primer potion from Urban Decay because that one is a little bit drier primer for me. So if not, if they don't hold up like that, I'm hoping that they're going to work out as shadow bases. But um, they're, I think that they're, they're really more emollient because they're in this compact style um, format. So in order for them to not dry out because of the packaging, you know, they have to be kind of filled with some more emollient um, ingredients in them but I have dry lids and they just creased like crazy and they did not last on my lids I was really surprised by that but and then the lip and cheek products I used as well I used them on the lips and on the cheeks same time that I used the the eye products and they went on the cheeks nice with a synthetic brush but um, they have more properties of a lipstick than they do of like a um, cream to powder blush type so they stayed tacky so I went over with like a translucent powder to take away that tackiness on my face because it would just start to break down um, the makeup underneath if I didn't. So, um, but other than that, they have uh, nice pigmentation for the lips and they feel, felt really nice on the lips as well. So, um, and they look nice on the cheeks too, but they, again, they do have more properties like a lipstick than um, a creamed powder type of blush product. So I wanted to like set it essentially. So this is what they look like up close. Here's All About Eve and then here's Breakfast at Tiffany's. So let's swatch them. 
And these are cream products if I didn't mention that already. But see, this one kind of looks like Tom Ford Platinum. But so they have nice pigmentation and oh, it's just oh so pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with them more, but I was really surprised how on my dry lids they didn't really have a lot of lasting power, you know. And that one is the Breakfast at Tiffany's. Right there. This next product is a new palette from YSL, and not even gonna lie, I mean the colors in it are very pretty as well, but um the packaging is so beautiful. I kind of have a thing for collecting the um, the limited edition pretty packaging YSL palettes. And this is the new formula. So um, from the spring collection, it's called the Palette Ombre Du Jour. Um, there's no number. Five color ready to wear palette. And it's so beautiful. This is what the top of the palette looks like. It's like a pink glitter type super super pretty and then I looked too to see if the shades in here were like you know it was just different packaging but the actual shades were from the permanent line and these are different it's a different color scheme and a different um, shade range inside as well um, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram on New Year's this is what I wore on New Year's Eve so and it's really pretty they're really pigmented they blended really nice I really like the new formula of YSL shadows like this so this is what the shadows inside look like and everything in here has got a shimmer or a sheen to it, or even some slight metallic. There are no mattes in here, I guess is what I'm trying to say, so let's swatch these. Oh, you're not going to be able to see that taupe too well, but... Oh, focus, honey. And then let's do this one right here. Right there is the other one. But I really like this. I really like how it performed. I really like how the look came out of it. So that is that pretty palette right there. These next three products are from the Chanel Spring Collection. And I do like all of the products. I think they're really pretty and they performed pretty nice. But I don't think any of them are really must-have products. Um, but let me show them to you. <laughs> I picked up the lipstick. It's a Rouge Allure, which are my favorite formulas from um, Chanel. And this one is 154 Badine. And it looks like that right there. I use this with a lip liner. Um, a couple folks didn't care for how it went on by itself from what I'd seen on other videos, but I typically use most of my lip products with lip liners. And the lip liner I'd use, I think, was Baby Bear by, by Terry, which I'll show you in a minute here. Um, let me show it to you right now with the lipstick. So this is another new product that I got right here, but this is the um, By Terry. It is the By Terry Crayon Libre Terribly Definition Waterproof and number five Baby Bear. Um, I've really been enjoying this lip liner and this combination together looked really nice when I wore it. So that's uh, Chanel Badine and this is the By Terry um, Baby Bear. And these do come with a, a sharpener as well, these pencils, but I really like that combination when I wore it. And then I also picked up the Jardin de Chanel Blush Camellia Rosé. <laughs> um, which actually came in a pretty, like, the box had pink accent to it. <laughs> but the actual blush is that pretty one with the flower embossing in it. And this here is, it has, it's heavily of the Chanel blush fragrance, um, for one. But it kind of reminds me a little bit, like, the texture. Like, not a lot of product kicks up when I put my brush in there in this particular one. So it kind of has some properties of, like, the in extra dimension finishes. But, um, this is the blush that I actually have on my, uh, my cheeks today and it is a really gorgeous blush um you know don't get me wrong there but I feel like there's nothing there's nothing unique about the finish or the color of the blush on my face like I feel like I've got this like I feel like a bunch of the blushes that I already have turn this exact same color on my cheeks I guess um and then too it kind of goes on a lot darker than what you'd initially think by just looking at it in the pan it goes on like a, a rose color like more like this color so let's swatch it here. So you can see it's it's got some it's kind of dark. For what it, it comes off darker than what you'd initially think by just looking at it in the pan. So that is the um, blush from the spring collection. 
And then I picked up one of the quads, and this one is in 236 Tisse Fan Fantasy. Um, and this one here I wore as well. It performed nice. It, it This is the new formulation of Chanel Shadows that recently, more recently came out. And this as well has got the properties of the in extra dimension type of formula. Um, and it performed nice. I like the look that came out of it and stuff. The brown right here actually turned more purple on me. Um, but I don't feel... Although it is pretty and it came out nice and all that, I don't feel like there's anything particularly unique about it. Um, and I don't really feel like it's a, a super must-have either. But it is pretty. <laughs> and I am glad that I have it. But um, that is what it looks like. I thought that it would be more like of a, you know, a brown garden type of earthy look. But it came out more purple on me. So let's watch them. And that peach color is about the same color as my fingertip, so. So that one is Tisse Fantasy. I also picked up another uh, Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. Because um, mine, I'll swatch my shorter one. It's kind of getting shorter. And I want to put this smaller one in my bag. Because it's, so, it's such a universal type of lip liner. Like works for so many different shades. So I'm going to keep that one in here. The, the newer one. And then throw this one in my little um, bag. So this is Pillow Talk. This is, I just love this lip liner. So I picked up another one of those. Then off of the Saks website, I, I picked up some more Gucci stuff. Um, I only needed one more of the quads to complete my quad collection. <laughs> um, so I picked up 050 Rose Quartz. And this is what I have on my eyes today. And the look turned out great. I really like how these build and blend these shadows. But I will say I did have some fallout on a couple of the shades here. So this is what the Gucci um, packaging looks like if you don't know already. And it does come in a pouch embossed with the um, Gucci logo as well. So this is what the quad looks like. Again, this is what I have on my eyes. It's a very soft, neutral palette. This shade right here is the only matte in the palette. And then these other ones are shimmery. Um, this one here kind of formed a little bit of a glaze over the top of it. I was still able to pick up product um, fairly easily, but I'm, I'm not too keen on that glaze. I'm not sure what happened right there. <laughs> but um, I did have some fallout with uh, this guy. I had a f some fallout with these two right here. So... Um, something to make note of, but I do really like how the look um, came out on my eyes. It's a really soft, um, pretty neutral look, and I like this uh, berry, or it's like a berry purple pink type of color. So, let's watch these. It's uh, 050 Rose Quartz. So, there are the shades right there. And then I picked up another one of their sheer blushing powders. I, I really like their blushes. I think they have great pigmentation and they, they blend out really easy. They're, they're really pretty. So this is the third, third blush I picked up. I actually had a gift card from the Black Friday sale. So that helped. <laughs> anyway, this is 020 Coral Flower. And it looks like that right there. It's a pretty coral. Um, it's a coral pink. I think, yeah, <laughs> it's a coral pink, I think, <laughs> um, but that's what it looks like right there. It does have a slight sheen to it, that's what it looks like right there. Really pretty um, blush right there, coral flower. Then I picked up two more of the duos. This first one is 030 Azalea, or Azalea. And these both are shimmery. And these two duos I'm going to show you are beautiful. Like, they're really, really beautiful. Um, when I wear the duos, I like, um, I put this on the lid. I put this through the crease and blend it upwards. And then I go back and put the, um, the highlight shade underneath my brow. And then I go back to this and blend it up into it. And they just fade um, into each other so, so pretty. So it's... Because I like to do that, like with duos or quads, I like to really um, do a look based off of what is in the quad without incorporating like too much of anything else. But um, super pretty. So that one is Azalea. And then this next one is 020 Amaretto. And this one here, it was really, really pretty as well when I used it. Looks like that. Right 
there. Look at that though. Oh, so much beauty. <laughs> so this one's Amaretto and that one's Azalea. And then I picked up one little single because I thought I should have one because they're like so cute. <laughs> and this one is in number 90, 090 Tourmaline or Tourmaline. And it is a pretty, pretty pink color. It's kind of like a satin, but it's got little golden shimmers in it. And it's got a little bit of some purple to it as well. I don't know how well this is going to pick up in the camera, but it's so pretty, the color. I thought this would be a great one for the lid or even just through the crease. A, a real versatile color. So that's Tourmaline right there. Oh, you're not going to be able to see that too well in here. Just a really pretty shade though. And since I quite like the NARS Velvet Lip Liners, um, El Agua is probably one of my top 10 favorite lip liners at the moment. Um, but I really like the formula of these. So I picked up another shade and this one is in um, Anse Soleil or Aunt Soleil. This is the little deal here. That's what the shade looks like. And then this one is like a coral or a corally nude type of a shade. But I thought this would be a great one to go with uh, several of the lipsticks that I have. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. These, these wear great throughout the day. They don't like goop up or anything like that. They go on nice. They have, you know, d good staying power. Um, so I really like these new velvet lip liners from NARS. So that is, does it have a number? No, it's just called En Soleil. So this next thing I kind of have mixed thoughts on. Um, this is the Modernist eyeshadow palette from Hourglass. And this is in the shade um, Infinity, uh, the nude shade. Sephora just put up all of the rest of the palettes in this line. Um, they're not available to buy right at this moment, but I'm sure they're coming soon. There's a whole like slew of them. So uh, this one I got off of uh, Barney's because I'd heard great things about it. So um, it is infinity, yes. And this here is smaller than the blush palette. Let me show you the size wise. Um, this is the um, ambient lighting palette. And so here, this is the size of the eyeshadow palette in infinity so it is quite smaller at first i kind of thought it was the same size as the you know the trio palettes from hourglass but this is smaller so this is what the palette looks like um you've got these two shades right here are matte this one is pretty shimmery and then these two are matte right here and they're kind of some warm and then a little bit cooler neutrals over there but um when i use this it was so powdery and you know the shades are all together as well like it was just this pop poof of powder and I use um this is a Goss number six brush this is a gray squirrel brush this is the softest brush money can buy <laughs> and there is just like I wonder if you guys can see like powder deluxe city in here it's just it was ridiculous like the amount of powder that kicked up in there you can see it on my hand I had fallout with it and then on top of that um I got uh patchiness through the crease as well with the matte shades um so it really left kind of a, my first use of this left a bad taste in my mouth, I guess. And I haven't, um, I haven't used it again since then because of that, I guess. Uh, so powdery. And I thought for the money, <laughs> they feel nice. They're nice and silky and stuff like that. But I'm not one to want to put up with patchiness or have to worry about that or, you know, tiptoe around something to make sure that it doesn't get powdery or patchy, you know, when you're blending. Because I have the dry lid, so once I go patchy and I can't get nothing else to adhere to it because the shadows don't build on each other, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> so I'm not a big fan of this. I don't know. I, I'm sure I need to give it another shot, try a different primer or something like that. But um, the amount of powder this kicks up is ridiculous. <laughs> for $60, it shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, I'm going to swatch it for you guys anyway, but I'm not, I'm not that big of a fan of this. I just blew all the powder out of the pan, but... I mean, the colors are nice, don't get me wrong there, they're nice, they're pigmented and stuff like that, but, I mean, when it comes down to performing and stuff, I mean, you, geez, you can see right there, you know, how, how powdery they are, um, so, here's the matte highlight shade. I was thinking of when they released the other ones, trying one more, but I don't know, I don't know if I'll pick up any more of these, actually. I don't think that, I don't think they're that great <laughs> for the money, for 60 bucks. <laughs> I 
This next palette is from Laura Mercier's Spring 2015 collection. It's the Watercolor Mist Eye and Cheek Palette. And um, the colors caught my eye and so did the packaging. <laughs> this is this the standard Laura Mercier box packaging, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's very reminiscent of the um, Summer Collection from MAC with the water droplets on it. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, packaging there. And then inside you've got uh, six eyeshadows and two blushes. I did use this color right here kind of as a bronzer when I used them and it did work for me like that and I used this one as a blush. You do have to use a smaller brush to to really get in there and get pick up product without you know running into the shadows which was the only thing that I found to be a bit of a problem um, when I used the palette. And then the formula of the products are are all matte and they're kind of drawing. I, like, I did have to kind of really buff um, these cheek products in and I got a slight patchiness. Not too bad at all when I use the eyeshadows. Um, they are matte eyeshadows, but the shadows themselves are really, really unique colors. I haven't seen a palette that was this unique come across in a long time. They're, they're like, I had said on Instagram, it's like, it's like the perfect palette for a rainy day, like a misty, rainy, gray type of a day because they're like colored shadows, but they're like gray toned misty or you know murky type of colors and I think it's really pretty the look that came out of it was really pretty as well I thought so this is what it looks like up close just quite a bit of uniqueness in there and then I tried to use I think this lightest green as a highlight and me I, I don't mind having like not a real stark highlight above the brow I don't mind having it kind of um, mid-toned all the way up to underneath the brow I kind of like a look like that so it didn't matter to me but um, for the most part, uh, there isn't too much of a highlight shade for my fair skin in the palette for eyeshadow shades, so. That is what those look like. Again, everything is all matte in here, but super, look at that. Isn't that a unique color? I just think they're so unique. So there's the first three shadows. There. And these next three. Right there. And then these two cheek products. These ones are a little stiff right here. The shadows are soft, but they're slightly dry. You can see right here, these ones don't have the best pigmentation, the cheek products. They went on the skin alright though, but I did have to really stuff my brush into them. I mainly like this um, because I feel like the eyeshadows are so, so unique in tone and color. So um, the cheek products are okay. But um, the eyeshadows, as far as uniqueness goes, I give it a thumbs up. And the packaging. Packaging is cool. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and end this haul here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.